No secret, Huntsville is growing, and with that comes more drivers on the roads. Yeah, this can cause issues and safety concerns for both pedestrians and those behind the wheel. 48's Claudia Peppenhorst joins us now live from Governor's Drive. And Claudia, to help ease congestion and just to help with safety, the city of Huntsville has applied for millions in federal funding to improve two major roads. Yeah, well, if those applications are approved, those grants would total about $21 million to help with roadway issues in our city. For example, right here on Governor's Drive, we've already started to see traffic pick up this morning. Nothing too bad, as we just heard from Jeff. But in the coming hours, we're going to see bumper to bumper gridlock traffic in this area as drivers make their way to work on this Wednesday morning. Now, as for what those U.S. Department of Transportation grants will pay for, one will help fund a study for improvements on an almost nine mile stretch on Governor's Drive that will improve traffic flow as well as better accommodate pedestrians. Now that could be anything from adding more lanes or changing traffic light timing. The other grant would fund construction on an over three mile stretch on Holmes Avenue. This construction would add new sidewalks, bike lanes and street lamps that will better accommodate pedestrians and drivers. Overall, this project would transform the area from the downtown link to UAH. Both of these streets fall in Huntsville City Councilman's Bill Kling's district. He says the goal of both projects is to work towards the city's goal of zero roadway fatalities by 2055. That'll help that Holmes Avenue area because it'll keep people off the road. They'll have a, a safe, long sidewalk. We have a lot of transportation needs. Uh, we're growing and traffic is getting more congested. I think this is a great plan and uh, so is the one that we have on Governor's Drive. Kling says right now we'll just have to play the waiting game on both of those applications, but we most likely won't see any type of construction on either of those roads for several years. Reporting live in Huntsville, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.